Okay, this is the machine. It doesn't have a nice appearance, but I will try to do something with this. I have invented and built it with my own hands, as well as a violinist could do it with materials and instruments he could buy in the shops. And I used about 17 years to improve it. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Vladimir Evgenievich Plyasov. I am from Russia, but now I live in Norway. Also, I should apologize for my English. We have three instruments here. Violin, viola and cello. And uh, the performer can play all three instruments simultaneously. Uh, we have also uh, a system of belts from here and there and many belts. And if I turn on en engine, so we see that belts go. For example, yeah. this belt we can call as a bow belt for viola because it has bow function. And we see that uh, the belt is a ring. It goes in circle. And therefore, the performer can make uh, as long sound as he will. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's the same as uh, on organ. The same system here for violin, bow belt and for cello. Now you can see that I have something on my elbow here. And if I do so, you see? Also, I have something on my knees, or if I do so with my left knee. You see, I can change strings. The same for violin, but with right knee. Something important. You can see if I do so, so you see that uh, viola moves, and uh, we see that distance between uh, the bow belt and bridge can be less or more. 
Right? It's very important. The same for Wiley. And I will show something. This uh, back of the chair consists of two parts for viola and for viola. And uh, uh, I can uh, do so. Now we see that uh, viola is higher and violin is lower. Now it will be different. So it's important that uh, these uh, two parts are independent from one another. Now you see that I have something on my head. It is to control the use of cello. If I do like this, you see? And if I do like this, It is a switch here. I can use it with my big thumb. You see? So when I turn on the switch, so we see that bow comes closer or goes further away from the bridge. Now we will take a look at the fingerboard of the cello. We see that it is wider than usual because it should be place for big toes. If they situated in the neighbor strings, uh, I use my big toes to play shell. And it's possible to use also heels, the heels. Sometimes. It, it, it's possible to use such a movement. Now I will show something. Uh, here we have rosin. Of course, man, uh, it's possible to use just uh, your hands to do it. But if you have three instruments, it can take uh, much time. But uh, I use this one. So, and now I turn on, and uh, it happened without my help. And uh, uh, the same system uh, I have for cello and for the pilot. Now we will see where the engine is situated. It is not here because it make, makes noise. We see that belt goes through the wall. One more room, one more wall. And now I open the door. And now we hear the engine. Do we? You see it's here. Yes, 
These pillows make noise less. And now, one more engine. This is the, the engine uh, uh, to make uh, uh, the bore of the cello uh, come closer and uh, away from the bridge. It's here. Now we will take a look at the bow belt one more time. This one. Uh, I use cargo lashing. The many many people know what it is. It's incredibly strong. Why do I talk about that it is strong? Because it's possible to make the bow ring uh, of uh, the natural uh, horse hair as usual and I have made it you see its connection should be like this like this yeah and uh, um, it's very good but it is not strong enough I mean that uh, I don't know why but uh, hairs, hairs break and break and break about one uh, hair uh, for one minute and uh, this one here it's enough for one week and uh, uh, it's very expensive and it take, uh, takes much work to do it, very much. So, this is replacement. Not perfect, but it is more practical. But it is possible to use it and it is better if you have enough money. <laughs> I would also uh, to say something about uh, the bow belt. You see, it goes just one way, but it is possible to do something with this, to make it uh, to go down and up. <laughs> it could be simple for music pieces, which need two instruments, for example violin and cello, if we will have cello instead of uh, viola. Then feet of the performer are free and he can use them for the strokes one foot for violin and another for cello it's more complicated if to use three instruments then my feet are busy but I could use such a movement also I could have a remote device in my mouth it could be something like uh, the protection the boxers use and here I could use three movements one two and three also instead of this switch I could use some other one which requires such a movement in addition to the cello which is below it could be contrabass double bass it's necessary for playing of many organ works of Johann Sebastian Bach also in addition to the viola it could be cello. It's also necessary for some music pieces. Maybe it will be so that viola is here and cello is here. So as a performer could play um, both of instruments uh, almost without break, without pause. Then, if the bow belt 
could be relaxed when necessary. It could play on three or four strings simultaneously, like this. It could be also some other improvements. Some of them could be more advanced than I can make at home. That's all I have to say for this demonstration. Thanks for watching.